It certainly wasn't the quietest way to transport logs, but the steam-powered Lombard log hauler certainly was the most advanced tool of its day. Though much of Maine's timber was floated down rivers to mills where it could be processed, lumbermen throughout the country were trying to develop mechanical means to haul logs greater distances. At the turn of the century, many Maine men, including Alvin Lombard of Springfield, were experimenting with their own designs. These works are the products of their labor. In fact, part of Lombard's vision is still being used today. His log hauler was the first to use caterpillar tracks, the same kind found on modern-day battle tanks and construction equipment. Compare it with a tank or a bulldozer or a giant snowmobile. It's got treads on the back and skis on the front. But... Fueled by coal or by wood, the Lombard could do the work of about 60 horses. They were here, too. Today's visitors witnessed horse teams in action and a gas log hauler recently restored by the Breton family of Vassalboro. It's almost like stepping back into time. Well, everybody's fascinated by it. I've been in love with these things for 20 years, and I finally got a chance to work on one. So uh, uh, everybody wants one, and everybody loves them. Everybody thinks... Part of our logging history, and that is the news of this hour. We thank you for joining us. I'm Craig Colson, and for all of us here at TV...